What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Critical Overload. Here we're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 4 again today. Jeepers Creepers were born. Now, as you see here on your screen, this is coming from a website named Eclair Play. That's like a site where distributors and movie theaters and other exhibitors, I guess, have access to view what's called like a DCP, which would be a collection of digital files used to store and convey digital cinema. So, this is, I guess, a site where they just have access to like press materials, etc., when they want to market a film. And it's just like a one-stop, easy, easy place for them to go. Eclair Play had a listing for Jeepers Creepers Reborn that I came across. And it has a release date, of course, as you see here, of February 17th of 2022. Now, the distributor listed here is Splendid Film. Now, I did some researching to find out what country that's associated with because I've never heard of that for the States. And, of course, it was not for the States when I came across it after researching it. It seems to be a distributor dealing with Germany. So, Germany looks like, I guess, they'll be getting Jeepers Creepers Reborn on February 17th of 2022. Now, the thing about that, though, is a lot recently what I've been noticing with the movies coming out in the States and in Germany is that you're either getting them around the same time. So you could either be getting Jeepers Creepers Reborn on February 17th if you live in the States on that date as well. Or what could happen is you could get it a week early. You might get it a week after Germany. Or, like I said before, you could get it the same week. I've been noticing that with, I think, even Screen 5 from what I've been seeing. It looks like it's coming out on the same day in Germany that is coming out in the States. So on the 14th, I've noticed that with Halloween Kills, something similar came out on October 21st. I know we got it on October 15th and just some other movies. I've been kind of seeing a trend with Germany and the States release dates. It kind of been around the same time frame as each other. So maybe we get it late January or maybe we do actually get it on February 17th, 2022 here in the States because that is a week weekend uh, time frame. And then again, Splendid Films, that's for Germany. We know we got screen media handling it here in the States. So as far as like what else was on this site, uh, there was a listing for a new teaser that actually is available online that I'm going to leave a link to in the description. This new teaser is a, a German made, made for Germany teaser. And basically it just outlines the fact that every 23 years, The Legend of the Creeper returns. Uh, and then it just ends with the, t the title logo, Jeepers Creepers Were Born, directed by Timo Virenzola. And then it goes over this final little screen here where it lists the distributor. It does actually mention Screen Media. It mentions Orwell Studios, Infinity Media Production. And it includes just like a breakdown of all those who participated in the film. And the one interesting thing that struck out to me or stuck out to me was the fact the mention of the composer for the film who is going to be Ian Livingstone. Now, Ian Livingstone apparently has done some work on video games in the past, like Battlefield and Forza. So if you're familiar with this guy's work when it relates to scoring video games, let me know down in the comment section below. I play Battlefield. I don't know how many of these games he scored out of the Battlefield franchise because I love the games Battlefield or the Battlefield franchise in general. But I guess he's going to be the one composing the score for Jeepers Creepers Were Born. And to back that up, if the credits mentioning his name aren't enough, I'll leave a link to his Twitter. If you go to that link in the description for his Twitter page, you'll actually see that he is one of the people who retweeted the teaser for Jeepers Creepers Were Born. The other thing that was present in that teaser was just a more, I guess, extended version of this new Jeepers Creepers rendition. We're going to be hearing it throughout the film. Uh... It's just saying it's just more lyrics, just honestly, more lyrics. I think at one point we hear it say hungry eyes, which I think is like an alternative alternative title for Jeepers Creepers in other countries. So that was another exciting little tidbit that I got from that website. The only exciting thing, I guess, about that and the reason that might be true of us getting it closer to February and not with the Horror Hound Festival weekend, like I was thinking about with Cincinnati since I know there's a Horror Hound event coming up in March, that could still happen. But I also was noticing that if you go to the Horror Hound website and look at like some of the people they have mentioned for guests, Nev Campbell is mentioned. I think Skeet Ulrich is mentioned. And also uh, Matthew Lillard is mentioned. So like this is happening in March. Nev Campbell already has like a big movie coming out in January, Screen 5. So with that alone who of course i would imagine she's going to be talking about the film with fans who come up to her etc same thing with matthew lillard and skeet Ulrich. skeet Ulrich, i believe is in screen five no doubt he had like a recent comment where he said 
he hasn't seen any of the other films but he'll be watching screen five yeah go figure why you're watching that one and also with marley shelton we know she kind of tagged him and then mistakenly had to remove him because he, he shouldn't have been there so like with that going on getting back to jeepers creepers with jeepers creepers reborn if it were to debut in february since we already know horror hound is in cahoots with this production that went on for the film this would be like a very good opportunity to have members from the cast present here who knows if d wallace is actually going to be present here uh she could talk about the film maybe they still have that special screening of the film that i kind of speculated on that they could do where they just show the show the film at the horror hound event even though it came out in february depending on the reception it gets whether it be good or bad i think they'll go i think horror hound is still going to go and put out good word of mouth about the film obviously and promote the heck out of it since they were in cahoots with them to have the movie at one point in time shoot on location at an actual event but of course we know that had to be changed because of what was going on and you can have other people from the cast there sydney craven imran adams just there to promote the film talk about the film see like just how many people i guess are interested in more jeepers creepers i guess this is just a, one small step to hopefully something more if they are able to get a new trilogy off the ground with this upcoming fourth entry the other thing i just want to talk about again is going into the film just expectations and things that i know people are just kind of having set in stone i guess nobody in my opinion should be going out of their way expecting this movie to be anywhere close to that original film no way this movie is going to surpass that none of them are going to surpass it jeepers creepers 2 doesn't do that jeepers creepers 3 does not do that i kind of just made it a fact or i've made it known in the past in previous videos about why i feel like this that movie has a certain magic about you wondering what this thing is and then there's just this eeriness about you not knowing what it is and what's going on that that unknown is gone we don't know what it is exactly but you know it's kind of just blown its load <laughs> to be literal it's blown its load now we're just hoping we can get fun movies so i would expect jeepers creepers 4 to just be some dumb cheese fun at this point but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video